Social parties, there's been an outbreak of common sense on the carbon tax. In fact, Nova Scotia Liberals, NDPers, and Conservatives passed a unanimous motion in their legislature this week calling on their federal MPs to vote against the Prime Minister's 23% carbon tax hike. No wonder. The cost of the carbon tax to the average Nova Scotia family will be $1,605, according to the Parliamentary Budget Officer. $1,605. How much will be the rebate for the average family? He's going to say that the rebate is more than what you pay. The federal price on pollution is a backstop. It's a system that we put in place to both fight climate change everywhere across the country and put more money back in the pockets of Canadian families where it applies. Every single province had and continues to have the option to replace the federal price on pollution with their own program as long as it is as rigorous and stringent as the federal uh, price on pollution. As long as they have a plan to fight climate change, they can do what they want as long as it's strong enough. That's the options the provinces have. So they can take that option. We're going to keep putting money back. Drop some L's for the opposite. Trudeau. That's demonstrably false because Nova Scotia actually has a climate change plan, which he rejected and overrode with a federal carbon tax that is opposed by New Democrats, Liberals, and Conservatives unanimously in the province's legislature. But you notice he wouldn't answer my question. He's been bragging about these rebates. But then when we talk about the cost, all of a sudden he forgets the rebates. So I'm going to give him a second chance. In the province of Nova Scotia, the cost to the average family will be $1,500. $1,500. $1,500 per Nova Scotia family. How much is the rebate? Yeah, yeah. Pretty simple question, and he's not going to give us an answer. Speaker, that is simply not true. The reality is, for 8 out of 10 families right across the country in backstop provinces, families do better off with the Canada carbon rebate than they do with uh, the extra costs of the price on pollution. This is a plan to fight climate change, but it's also a plan to put more money in the pockets of families from coast to coast to coast. Now, the Conservative leader doesn't care about fighting against climate change, and he doesn't care about affordability either, because he would rip up the rebate checks uh, and he would do less on fighting climate change. We're going to keep delivering for Canadians. Oh my God, drop another L in the chat! For Trudeau! won't answer the question. All the Liberal ministers came in with little cue cards a week ago with all these rebates on them. They were waving them around, very proud. Yep. And then when we went to the Parliamentary Budget Officer and said, give us the full price by province, and we quoted that, for example, in Nova Scotia, it's $1,500 in cost to the average family, according to the PBO. Again, $1,500 in costs. What is the rebate? The number. There you go. Very simple question. Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we see the lengths to which uh, the Conservative Party will go to mislead Canadians about a plan that fights climate change and puts more money in the pockets out of eight or ten Canadian families. The parliamentary budget officer himself admitted and said that you cannot take his words out of context because he did not calculate the costs of inaction on fighting climate change. He did not calculate the competitive advantages of the innovation and the solutions and the economic exactly. growth that comes with putting a price on pollution. The Conservative Party are not telling the full story. Exactly. What a load of crap. Leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, he did not, the Parliamentary Budget Officer did not include the cost of climate change because the carbon tax doesn't address the cost of climate change. The Parliamentary Budget Officer made clear the carbon tax will do nothing to change the cost of climate change, and that's why it costs, the tax costs more for every family in every province. So let's go to Alberta, where the uh, per, two of the NDP leadership camp candidates have come out against the carbon tax, and the Prime Minister's only friend in the province, Nahid Nenshi, has gone totally silent. Albertans will pay $2,900 in carbon tax per family. What will be the rebate for them? There you go, Pierre. Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, 
$1,400 a year is the average, uh, is the family of four in Alberta uh, carbon recap. Uh, yeah, carbon yeah, yeah. That is. He's like the pig from. And according to an analysis by the Parliament. Teletunes or whatever that show's called. It's more than they pay in extra price on pollution because of the price we put into the federal level. The price on pollution puts more money in the pockets out of eight of ten Canadian families and fights climate change while building a stronger, more competitive future. The Conservatives have no plan to fight climate change and no plan to help Canadians with rebate checks. Chat, do me a favor, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, he found his cue card and he finally talked about the rebate. So he says the average family in Alberta will get $1,800 while they pay $2,943. Oh my God. Next year alone, after this forthcoming hike, the average Alberta family will pay $1,100 more in carbon taxes than he gives back in his phony checks. Will the Prime Minister tell us if he understands that $2,900 is bigger than $1,800? <laughs> Chop some W's for Mr. Speaker, how about a different stat? A stat that the ministry analyzed turns out that for an average income quintile group the average household of 2.5 Canadians average net benefit per household in Alberta $723 a year that's $723 in the pockets of the average Albertan family because we put a price on pollution that puts more money back in the pockets out of 8 out of 10 Canadian families that is what we are doing that's how we fight climate this guy is insane, man. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He wants you to know, Mr. Speaker, he has alternative facts. <laughs> <laughs> I get mine from the parliamentary officer that reports directly to Parliament and is independent. He's reporting, he's using numbers that come from officials that report to him and depend on him for their job. So let's take another problem, oh! Ontario, where the Liberal Leader has now come out against this Prime Minister's carbon tax. Maybe she knows that the average cost to an Ontario family of the federal carbon tax is $1,674 for this coming year. How much is the rebate in Ontario? Oh my God! Prime Minister! The average net benefit per household in Ontario is $255 a year. That is fighting fighting climate change while putting more money in the pockets of Canadians. The parliamentary budget officer himself demonstrated that 8 out of 10 Canadian families in regions that get the carbon price backstop do better with the price on pollution put more money back in their pockets than it costs them on the fight for climate change. This is the wow, plan he is we're struggling. for Canadians. That's the plan he wants to scrap.